Okay, guys, I was just going to show you some of the uh, features that Josh demonstrated with LibreOffice. I'm going to show them in Microsoft Word using the Equation Editor. So the first thing we need to do, uh, I just had a Word document open, and I want to type in a fraction. I've got each of the things that Josh did, I think I have here, so I can go through the same set. Um, so the first thing I want to do is just type in a fraction two-thirds. So I'm going to go up to Insert, and I'm going to go down to... It should be Object, and then Microsoft Equation. And it's just going to give me a little box here to type in, or in which to type. And uh, the first thing I notice is the font is really big right now because I was playing around with that. So I'm going to change that. So I'm going to define the font under size, and I'm just going to change that to 12. And so I want to type an equate. I want to type a fraction. And so if I look up here, each of these little icons or drop-down menus has a collection of different symbols in it, um, and they're grouped somehow, hopefully logically, that you can find what you're looking for. And so the fractions are in here. I've got a couple different options. I've got a full-size fraction, or I've got a reduced-size fraction. Also, when you hover over these things, um, you'll get a little symbol down at the bottom of this top. Uh, this box and it'll tell you what the shortcut keys are for that. So for a full size fraction on a Mac it's Command F. So I can just click on this and I get the fraction. I've got the little boxes in here that I can type into so I'll say 2 over 3 and then if I just close that it should insert that wherever I inserted the equation. So if I double click on this thing I can show you the other format or the other form for a fraction so if I do and I remember it, it was Command T, Shift F, I get a small fraction, and so I can type in two thirds. And again, you just close it and it'll update the uh, your document. Um, and then just like Josh suggested, usually what I do is I copy this, so I'm just going to do Command C. And then anytime I want to type uh, an equation, I just paste. Um, otherwise you have to keep going back um, and insert, or go to insert and then object and then equation. So I'm going to double click on this one to open it up and what Josh typed in here was the quadratic formula. So I'm just going to start typing. It's x equals and then I need a fraction. So I showed you where that was. The shortcut is command F and then it's going to be the opposite of B and then I'm looking for plus or minus which shows up up here and again this isn't one that I use very often so I probably wouldn't take the time to memorize it but um, if you like, you can. This one's Shift, Command, K, and then the equal sign. Um, and so I've got plus or minus. I need a square root symbol, which is in this drop-down menu, or it's a radical, so it's Command, R. And then I've got B squared over here. We've got superscripts and subscripts. And the these, you use the uh, superscripts a lot, so it's I know this one is Command, E. So it's b squared minus 4ac. I just arrow down twice and I get to a. And then I just close it. And again, it should update the document. I'm not sure why it's uh, causing these problems with the overlays and stuff. But if you just hit enter and then you can go back and delete it, it straightens that out. Um, and then I think in the next uh, clip, Josh had discussion about the brackets. So if I go back in and let's say I wanted to put uh, brackets completely around the formula or the expression. So I'm going to say x equals first and now I want uh, a left bracket. But if I put, if I just hit uh, shift 9 like you would if you were typing, I get a left bracket. But then if I put in a fraction, that bracket doesn't scale like Josh was talking about and it looks really ugly. Um, so what I would do instead, if you look up here, there's a tab for all the different kinds of brackets that you could ever possibly want. Um, and the shortcut command for this one is Command 9, and you get a set of scalable uh, brackets. And so now I'm going to ask for a fraction, which was Command F. I'm going to say the opposite of B plus or minus, which is k equals and then command r for uh, radical and then b command e squared minus 4ac all over 2a 
and then again you just close it and it'll pop in um, <coughs> next thing is just uh, uh, a root a square root symbol with an index uh, not a square root uh, a radical with an index other than two and so that's in this drop down menu and the shortcut is command T N, and that just gives you a little box that you can type. So I just say seven for the, I want to take the square, or the cube root of seven. So I've got an index of three and a radical of seven, I believe. Um, and so I just go ahead and close that one. Um, so I think the next thing we showed you was how to combine things. So if I wanted to say five to the, so command E is the um, superscript, and then I want the fraction two thirds. So I'm going to say, I, and I prefer the small fraction when I'm using it, it as an exponent. So I'm going to do Command T, Shift F to get a small fraction, and I say two thirds, and I close it. Um, Greek symbols, I think, was the next thing that you talked about. So in here, if you want a Greek symbol. Um, you come up to style, you've got a couple different choices, and one of them is Greek symbol. And again, this is one that I end up using a lot, so I know this one. It's just command shift G, and then you just type the letter. So if I want pi, I just type P for pi. Okay, and then while we're in the text uh, styles, if I try to hit a space bar right now, it's going to tell me that I can't move because I'm in the math uh, text. Um, or the math, yeah, it's math style, sorry. Um, so if I instead switch to text, then I can put in a space, so I can say lowercase pi, or, and it's not italics because this is just text, I can put the other space in, and then I can shift back um, by hitting command shift plus, I can shift back into the math style, and then I want a capital pi this time, so I'm going to say command G to get into the Greek symbol, so I'm going to say, and then just like you would, you just try to type a capital P, oh, I missed it, hang on, so command G, and then uh, shift P, and I get a capital pi. Um, and there we go, my mouse had disappeared, sorry. So then another, uh, something else that, uh, something that Josh sort of got into, but I didn't get to see. Um, oh, I still have a question about it, at least. You, he was showing us how to get a new line. So I want to just show solving a linear equation. So I have 3x minus 9 equals 12. Um, if you need a new line here, you just hit enter. So there's no, uh, it's much simpler in, in this case. I'm going to keep typing. I'm going to say 3x um, equals 21. And then I'm going to say x, therefore, is equal to uh, 7. And so I can just insert that, uh, those steps to that equation. The problem with that um, is the fact that the equal signs aren't lined up, and that really drives me nuts. So if we go back and we open this up again. If you come up to Format and the drop-down menu, one of them says Align at Equal Sign. So you can just click on that, and it'll align them at the equal sign. So I didn't see that in Josh's. Uh, I'd like to know if that actually, if you had that feature in there. I assume so, but I didn't see it. Um, the other thing that I haven't resolved, I don't remember if I used, had somehow, if I had known how to do this before, but I don't like that the eighth is lined up with the middle of this collection rather than the top line. Um, but I, like I said, off the top of my head right now, I can't remember how to adjust that or if you can. Um, Another thing that I have a lot of frustration with, or I've had in the past, is changing the font. So I'd like to know on uh, Josh and LibreOffice if uh, if changing the font is easier than it is here. So, for example, if this was a collection of um, homework answers that I wanted to put up on an overhead, I might want to change the font so that it was large enough so students could read it. So what I would do is just hit Command A for all. And then I would change the font from 12 to, you know, 26. And when you do that, the uh, the font inside the text, uh, you know, the, the equations doesn't change. And so that doesn't really help. You can't see what it says any more than before. Um, 
So you, if you want to change the font inside of the text, the equations, you have to do that individually. So if I go here, I would have to go to size and then define, and then you can just type in the font size that you want. So I want 26, I say OK, and then I close it, and it should change the font on that. Um, again, you'd have to do it on every box individually. So uh, hopefully that's helpful. Uh, Josh and I'll probably give you an assignment to go along with this so you can practice typing. And that's it.